also killed the brother of the man now jailed, suspected of this crime. He's the only suspect. The children's mother, Brittany Anderson, is in stable condition tonight at St. Francis Medical Center here in Tulsa. We've also learned there were three other children in the home at the time, but they were not harmed. DHS is now involved in this case, overseeing the welfare of those kids. As Muskogee police work to figure out what led to the massacre inside the home, Two Works View's Sierra Pizarro joins us from the scene of the crime with a timeline of today's events. Sierra? I'm in a now quiet neighborhood where people say what happened this morning is a very unexpected tragedy. I'm standing in front of the home where the murders happened on the front porch, a memorial which has significantly significantly grown since this morning. It started with just one bouquet of flowers. Now you'll see stuffed bears and candles. Those three surviving children who are with D DHS are expected to be reunited with family in just a few days. Just de devastating. To, I can hear feedback. You know, wake up in the morning and understand that people's been killed. Several people shot inside the home. Eight children and two adults were in this home when multiple rounds were fired around 1.30 Tuesday morning. Five of the children are deceased. One was transported to the hospital um, and died later. It makes me really sad because I feel like they they would have done something great had they had the chance. The murdered children were all under the age of 10. A neighbor who brought by some flowers said their smiles will never leave his mind. I've seen these kids all the time and they love my dog. They see her and they wave at her and they pet her and everything. And it's just kind of hard knowing that these kids are gone now. And a man was also shot and killed, 24-year-old Javarian Lee. He's the younger brother of the arrested suspect. Jaron Dijon Pridgen. 25-year-old Jaron Pridgen suspected of killing his brother, five children, three of who have his last name. Shock, disbelief, a great deal of sadness. These children ripped from their chance at life and their mother, Brittany Anderson, is awake in the hospital, barely speaking and not yet aware of the situation. Muskogee Mayor Marlon Coleman announced tomorrow will be a day of prayer and meditation for the family struck with so much loss. Jaron Pridgen is, is due back in court tomorrow as well. I'm Sierra Pizarro, two works for you.